Uh, my name is Joe O'Keefe. I own Wine 101 in Wake Forest, North Carolina. We've been open for about a year, and we are really, really excited about the response we've had to the wine station. Our by-the-glass sales are approximately 10% of our overall sales. Uh, typically, you know, we try to keep it there only because if I go above that too much, then I become a bar. And it's a, it's a different license, and I don't have to get a different license. I want to stay where I'm at. But I, I just ran a report recently, and we're showing about maybe 10 12% of our overall sales are by the glass out of the wine station. Without the wine station, I probably would not consider uncorking some of the more expensive bottles, just because I would have done it initially, and then I would have learned from those mistakes, because what would happen is you'd have a very, very expensive bottle, like a Camus or a Silver Oak, that would then you wouldn't use all of it, or it would go bad, or all of a sudden I'd feel generous and say, hey, yeah, you have to try this, and next thing you know, the bottle is gone, and I haven't really made any money on it. So having it here in the wine station allows us to be a lot more disciplined about how we distribute the wine, in addition to really, really sharing with folks some great wines that maybe they wouldn't try in other circumstances. Deciding on the wine station was really kind of a no-brainer. In North Carolina in particular, we have a situation where people can buy wine in a lot of places, practically everywhere except for daycares and public schools. So, you know, for them to come to my shop, I had to do something that really kind of set myself apart from, say, some of the grocery stores and some of the other places in town and around here within the environs of Wake Forest where people could buy wine. So having the wine station also allows me to get a little bit of loyalty going on too, whereas, you know, once somebody's bought that card and they've got money in that card, you know, that's in their wallet. They're, they're popping around in town and they're driving by going, hey, I'm going to pull in and see what's in the wine station at Wine 101. So it's a really great opportunity to, you know, build people's loyalty to the store, uh, give people a great opportunity to, to taste some great wine. And because of the variety of wines that we offer, and we change them so often because we have such, had such great response to the wine station, that it really gives people a lot of flexibility to expand their horizons. Uh, the installation process of the wine station was actually kind of fun. Um, you know, getting it up here was, was, was interesting. It, the, the machines actually weigh pretty heavy, but it was probably within a couple of hours we had all the bottles popped in, we had everything up and running, we had the computer up and running, and uh, it's, 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 fairly, it's fairly intuitive in terms of all the technology that's involved with the wine station, including the computer. Um, it's very easy to, you know, go ahead and change bottles out. You, you pop your card in, you go to, say, for example, you go to service mode, and you can see you can either change bottle, a prep bottle, or set temperature if you want to change temperatures of your wines and so forth. And it's all very, very easy to, easy to use. I usually say to people, you know, if you, you don't have to be a computer expert or a technology expert, but you have to at least be comfortable with the technology. The wine station allows Wine 101 to be a very, very flexible space to sit down and have a glass of wine. We've got some tables here. People can come in, either get some wine from a wine tasting and sit down, maybe bring some outside food, or more importantly, what more often happens is people will come to the wine station, grab some wine out of here, sit down, have a glass, and they can try a number of different things. So they're not necessarily you know, having to commit to a $10 glass of wine. They take a sip, oh geez, I don't really like that, but hey, I spent $10 on it, I'm gonna go ahead and drink it anyway. This way, they've got eight different wines right there. They can come in, have their lunch, take a little sip of each one, you know, they're not going to leave here intoxicated and at the same time they have a chance to really expose themselves to eight different wines with their meal. And, you know, you don't really get to do that very often at a restaurant. Well, spoilage is always an issue with wine. Um, you're always taking a chance once that, once that cork comes off or the stelvin comes off or the glass top comes off, or you pop a cork in a, in a champagne bottle, once that air hits the wine, you are you know, on the, on the road to spoilage. So having the wine in the wine station with the nitrogen able to maintain the integrity of a bottle for up to 60 days is a huge advantage. Um, not that our bottles typically last that long in the wine station, but the comfort of not saying, well, geez, we haven't, geez, I've, I still have so much of this bottle left and wow, I've only got about two more days and I gotta get that bottle out of there. This way I feel comfortable, hey, maybe, you know, some of our white drinkers haven't been in the store recently, but that's okay those bottles are good for another 60 days and so we can really kind of take our time going through those bottles. The staff has adapted really, really well to using the wine station. I've got uh, one full-time person and, and two or three part-timers and everybody feels very comfortable coming in and changing the bottle. Uh, we can get the wines in there, they're up and they're ready to go and we can change them pretty quickly because what, what will happen sometimes is we'll get big crowds in here Someone will go, hey, it says check wine bottle, and we have to get a wine bottle in there pretty quickly. So it's good to have everybody feeling very comfortable getting a, a bottle in there fairly quickly. 
NEPA technology has been great through the process. Um, and people uh, have been able to, I've been able to reach people very quickly. They've always returned my phone calls. I've gotten, you know, over the phone customer assistance from California on Sundays at, you know, at one o'clock in the afternoon when I'm closed and when it's early out there in California. Uh, we were able to send back a bunch of our heads to get those refurbished so they come in, they're working better with the bottles. Um, gotten a lot of help in terms of how to find certain things. Also, a lot of marketing ideas. Um, you know, we're all kind of in this business together, so a lot of people are sharing some of their ideas and things that are working well for them, uh, certain strategies and plans and ways to get customers to come in and get them to come in on certain days when maybe you're not so busy. So I have to say overall, the, the support from, from NAPA and their staff has been quite outstanding. Uh, my wife and I came up with the idea for Wine 101 um, really to try to create a place in Wake Forest where people could go, learn about wine, feel comfortable. As you look around the store, you know, everything's labeled, everything's marked, everything's out for everyone to see. We really try to create a comfortable atmosphere. So really, regardless of your level of wine knowledge, we feel like every time you come in the store, we want you to learn at least one new thing about wine, whether it's a new varietal or a new year or why is this a vintage year and why is this not a vintage year? You know, everything from your Chardonnays and other white wines like Tarantes with Cabernets, Shiraz and Port and so on and so forth. We really, really want to make it a comfortable experience where people can come in, taste the wine, learn about the wine, purchase the wine, sit down. And what's really happened is we've created an atmosphere where a lot of people come in and they, they talk to each other about the wine. They'll say, hey, Joe, you're welcome. I, I just sold that wine for you and so forth. People come in, they have some of their favorites and they sit around the tables and the bar and they talk about it. And the next thing you know, if people are walking around and, and talking to each other about the wine. So that's really what we wanted to create is a, is, a, is a great, comfortable atmosphere where the vibe is all about just sharing, enjoying, and the celebration of wine. Napa Technology is dedicated to designing innovative, intelligent dispensing solutions that feed the passion of wine lovers around the world. Feel free to contact us by phone or email for additional information or questions regarding the wine station. The Wine Station, how wine is served.